Alright, punch face here with Record of August War Zero, part I don't know, because I forgot. And sorry to cut that one a little short, people interrupting me. So let's see here. Ah, the rumors are more true than I could have imagined. The women of Forster Hague are magnificent. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, deep within the forest, they bloom with a beauty nearly blinding. I guess he was singing there. The choices are endless. An infinite buffet of feminine delights. A wise choice, Eugene. Ziggy, come. Any moment spent not basking their ch in the uh, basking in their charm is a moment wasted. I don't wish to be overbearing, but you really must stop addressing me so. As uh, Ziggy. It is a shortened version of my name, which he insists on using, despite my protests. Ah, uh, I see. It's kind of cute, though. I beg your pardon. Uh, oh, nothing. Sir, I request permission for Im immediate leave. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I beg your hey. Until we meet again, my friends. And where he's j uh, and just where do you think you're? Uh, well, I never. He is certainly quite good at running. I confess, I suspected this would happen. No, in truth, I was quite sure of it. Is he always thus? Can you possibly doubt it? At least we are rid of his prancing and crowing, if only for a short time. How perfectly delightful. We must not waste the time he has given us. Then... we've much to do. Aw, oh, so much... everyone doesn't like him. I like him. I think he's my favorite. He's funny. My friends, my heart sings to you again. I come bearing valuable intelligence. And where exactly have you been? No, no, do not answer that. I do not wish to know how your animal urges were satisfied. Please, simply tell us of this intelligence you claim to have uncovered. Uh, 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 you know me far too well, Ziggy. I have learned of the force that lies ahead. It is called the Forest of the Lost, did you know? Yes, we did. Oh, well, this is not the extent of your intelligence. Ah, yes. But do you know it is a dangerous and deadly place when the fog covers it? But only when the fog covers it? Indeed. No one knows the reason. The townspeople can navigate the fog easily, though, but not us. That being the case, I thought perhaps we would do well to dash through when the fog clears. Did you tr did you truly think I did not but presume woman? You wounded me. I've not chosen to come on this little journey for fun and laughs. And it has been quite clear to me that I will be unhappy if Ziggy does not return successful. At any rate, I have endeavored endeavored to gather information during my uh, downtime. Your downtime. Ah, and I did hear through the grapevine that a girl passed through the forest by herself. If it is safe enough for a girl to cross alone, then we'll... Oh, I have an idea. Might, might we ask Radier to peer into the future for us? Perhaps you can determine the truth of Eugene's intelligence. Um, let's go ahead and ask her. Down, up. I think it's the first, um, that's the first thing about Alice there. Excellent idea, Alice. Rowdier, would you be so kind as to have a look? Or really? Very well. I shall do what I can. Ha! 
And what exactly do you hope to accomplish by hurling rocks at one another? Um, I hope to peer into your f to our future. Normally, this would be done out of out of the uh, out of doors, but since we are inside at the moment. Uh, oh, I confess, I thought at first you had gone slightly mad. I've never seen this before. Here we are. Yes. These are good signs. I believe it is safe for us to move forward. Is that so? Well, best we do so then. What? Do my words carry a little way with you? Wait with you? At least have the courtesy to look me in the face when you break my heart. Then we would be wise to use this time for rest. As will you. Oh, but I have promises to keep to all of my lovely fl uh, flowers. You cannot. My Andrea, my Elios, no! You're disturbing the other guests. Perhaps an early bedtime for us as well then. Yes. Kill these guys. Uh, um, there's a lot of people on the left side there. I think I'm gonna go over there. Let's just leave her back here. Okay. Definitely take care of these stupid freaking pixies first. Or fairies, where the fuck they are. I think I can kill every single one of them. Alright. So far, so good. Okay, well, that was easy enough. I thought, th I thought they're gonna be a big pain in my ass, but apparently not. And that's always a plus. Just skip that. Okay. Alrighty then. I didn't realize there was some more around there. Hope I can kill it. Yeah. Okay. But there's still one more right there. Crap. Did someone not attack yet? No, no, nope, because it looks like everybody attacked. Huh. Yeah, let's just leave everybody where they're at. Okay. Alright, let's see, let's see if we can kill this thing. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be a, a choice here. Alright. Her power attack's not too bad, though. Alright, you're dead. Poisonous Petal. Rank A. Ah, looks like they're about to level up. Alright. <sighs> Come on.
I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was to be cleared. A clear day today. What are we to do? Shall we head back and wait for the fog to clear? I think it's best we stay put for now. We have no idea what dangers this force might hold. And we'd easily lose ourselves in this dreadful fog, yes? Gallius, can you feel anything? There is something strange about but nothing evil. My oh, fog's not too bad. <laughs> fog is much thicker now. Stay close if one of us should stray off the path. Master? Huh. What? Someone has been taken already? No, she is still close by. What's wrong? How odd, I can sense her presence one moment, yet it is gone the next. What witchcraft is this? Uh oh. Zeek. What, what's happening? We must remain calm. She cannot have simply disappeared. She must be nearby. Eugene? Eugene! Huh? He was just next to me. Who's on me gone now? Uh, I guess everybody. Hello? Anyone? Zeek, where's everybody? I do not know. Stay close, Mimo. Uh, um... Zeek, there's... there's a meow. <laughs> Uh, meow? Do you mean a cat? Some matter of monster? No. Welcome to the Force of Dao! Huh? Kitty girl! Shocking, isn't it? People just next to you disappear and suddenly a stranger appears. Well, it's rather late for you to lose your head now. You can do not but wait for the fog to lift. What is the force of doubt? I suspected. You are travelers, aren't you? The force of the loss. Inbala Lin. So also, uh, some also call it the force of doubt. Strange things happen when the fog rolls in. It's best to say put. You never heard of it? I see. Those who live here are quite used to the force. But, but for travelers, it can be a waking nightmare. Only, uh, unless, blah, blah, blah. unless you wish to be further separated from your friends, I suggest you stay put. You'll find them easily enough when the fog clears. And now that, our, we, that we are friends, would you mind greatly putting that away? Oh, uh, my apologies. You are... After you. Very well, I'm Zeekhart. Ah, uh, well, I'll call you Ziggy then. <laughs> I'd really rather you didn't. This is Mamelia. 
Yeah. Mamel. Ah, yes, um, we call her Mamel. Mm -hmm. That's so. Yeah, How interesting. Sorry. You make quite a pair. I beg your pardon? No matter, I'll call her Mime, uh, Mimi. I suppose now it is my turn. I am Titora, child of loving trees and wandering student of all that is alive and green. You need to remember all that, though it is a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Meow. Titora. Meow? I see. Do you hail from nearby? Oh no, I am but a simple traveler, much like yourself. Wherever the earth cries out for me, I go to purify it. I am an eternal, eternal wanderer, with no roots of my own. As for why I am here, I am merely passing through. Purify? Are you a priestess? Oh no, nothing like that. I simply call upon the primal power of nature and rejuvenate the soul. Soil. I suppose you could think of me as something like a magical doctor. In any event, I should tell you that my magic won't work on living creatures. They are beyond my ken. What happens when you purify dirt? All manner of wonderful things. All that lives depends. Uh, all that lives depend on the earth. Our world grows ill, the earth sickens. As the earth sickens, so do all living things. Small creatures such as ourselves can do little, but we might endeavor to prevent tragedy. At least, that is what my grandfather told me. My own experiences have taught me this much. When the, so bleh, when the soil is pure, the food is good. And that is the truth. Then have you come here to purify the forest? Why would I do such a thing? I sense no evil from the forest, do you? By the by, where are you, where are you headed? We're bound for Rue Tark, but... I see. One of your party knows the area then, no? I thought so. Since you're so kindly lacking, I offer you my services. Shall I guide you? You? So I said, did I stutter perhaps? I've been traveling for so very long. I can be quite helpful. Examine your current state. For instance, is this sort of danger something you wish to repeat? And what will you ask in return? Ah, uh, let me see. I must think on this. Very well. In return, you must protect me. The roads have been dangerous of late, and I am but one girl. Is that all? Zig Mamel. Thank the gods you're here. You are safe then. I am relieved. Y yes, I was rather frightened when I found myself alone on so suddenly. Oh my, who is this young lady with the delightful ears? Oh, that's Meow. Beg pardon? Uh, no, her name is Totora. <laughs> Miss Meow. She is acquainted with this region and has offered her services in exchange for protection. I'm sorry, protection? An elf? A high elf? What a motley band you are. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Totora. My master has sent me to travel the world purifying the soil. I've been on my own for quite some time, but things have gotten rather dangerous of late. I'm only a child after all. Fortunately, I have met you. 
You have agreed to protect me, and for that you have my thanks. But of course, I would give my life to protect a precious kitten such as yourself. Then I sure rely upon you especially, kind sir. Goodness, I'm hungry. Let's say we procure some food. Ah, thinking the same thing. You may leave this test to me, fair damsel. You must eat well and grow to a beautiful woman. Really? How very kind of you. I shall stuff myself quite full of food then. Aw, she likes him. She have a purple tail though? Huh. Eugene. No, Mamel should get food as well. <laughs> Eugene, have you no shame, man? Yeah, uh, yeah. You may pity him soon enough. He is a fool to underestimate the appetite of a mage. Ah, then he shall have no funds left which, with which to fill his wanton escap escape, escapades, whatever. Indeed, perhaps that shall prove a valuable lesson to him. Oh, a delightful idea. Eugene shall treat the rest of us all of us as well. Delightful idea, yeah, a delightful in idea indeed. With that settled, I suggest we move on. Good stuff. Having a good time. Sorcery fill times one. So, the cat, uh, T Tortella, or whatever her name is, is a mage too, huh? Everything is proceeding as it should. Yes, I understand. You may leave that remains to me. <sighs> I'm gonna add Totora to my party and take out um, Mel. Let's see. Organize field sorcery, huh? I guess I can do that. Uh, organize. Nope. Switch members. Who is it going to switch out? Oh, I'm ML. Four. I'm going to try out the Torah. And she's a mage, correct? Is that what it said? Um. Guillotine Scythe. Iron Scythe. Power attack. Well, I guess we should give her some super defense items too. Okay, well, um. Uh, let's see. Anything else? What did, um, she has. Let's take this off of her. And that too. Um, and then where is she at? Let's give her Suzaku's ring. And I guess she's good on the items there. Actually, she's a mage, so yeah, she needs stuff there. Okay, I think she's good. Let's test her out and see how she does. Too bad I don't have a weapon for her, though. I need to, um, find a better scythe. Looks pretty cool, though. She's fast, too. I guess I'll throw him on, on intelligence up, whatever. Uh, I, may I may actually switch my, uh... Yeah, I may switch that. 
I guess I'll just put her on there for now, so she can be a little bit closer. If I link her to something, she won't have that problem. Quadruple attack. I can use quadruple attack by myself now. That's cool. Bandage. And another bandage. Dead. Um... Uh, I guess I won't be able to tell if she's good or not. Okay. Alright. 